What's up guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video. Welcome back to Colo Craft Bushcraft. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a gear loadout. So I'm just gonna run you through the kit that I tend to take if I'm doing a bushcraft overnighter. Hope you enjoy. So first things first, my bag. My bag is a Hidden Woodsman Forest Ruck uh, from a company in America called the Hidden Woodsman, uh, by a handmade by a guy named Malcolm. They are fantastic packs, um, really kind of tailored towards kind of the bushcrafter. Um, this particular one is only 30 liters, so it's not uh, very big. Um, and then a lot of the stuff that I have to take or would like to take, uh, as you can see, I end up fitting around on the outside, but it's uh, a great bag. Uh, and as you can see, it lets me get everything attached to it in one way or the other. First up, we've got my sleep system that I tend to use. Uh, I've got my sleeping bag. This is a Mountain Warehouse Microlite 1400. Um, supposedly good down to minus four degrees centigrade. Quite how true that is, I don't know. Um, I've got my DD tarp, which is a three by three meter tarp in Coyote Brown uh, for shelter and protection. Um, this is my tent. This is a Berghaus Peak 3.1 one-man tent. Um, very, very good value. Uh, I've got my inflatable sleeping pad as well, which uh, this one's supposed to have an R rating of about 4.5, so it should be good below uh, below freezing. Um, I'm not entirely sure I believe that. I mean, I'll be honest, I bought this one off the internet, and it's something that I, I want to replace quite soon. Uh, and I've got my Mountain Warehouse travel pillow. Uh, on the bottom here, I've just got a piece of Reflectix, um, just as maybe a little bit of a ground sheet if I need it, an extra layer to keep me off the ground, particularly like today when it's kind of damp and it's going to get cold tonight. Um, so that's my sleeping system, really simple. Sleeping bag, shelter, inflatable pad, and something to rest your head on. All right, so other things I've got in my bag are my fire lighting kit. So in this little plastic box, I've got a whole bunch of um, man-made tinders uh, and things to get a spark to get, to get a fire going. Um, so very, very useful, never leave uh, without that. Uh, I'm gonna run through exactly what I've got in that and how to use it all in a, in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. Um, I've got my cookser, so my, what I drink out of, really simple, nice, very, very nice, it's wooden, um, much nicer and I think much safer than carrying around a porcelain mug or something like that, because, you know, running around a new bag that could snap quite easily, smash quite easily, whereas the wooden one can take a fair bit of a beating. Um, I've also got tent pegs, so this is just a bag full of tent pegs, um, you know, not necessarily a must, you can carve tent pegs really easily out of uh, decent sticks and stuff like that, um, but just for the ease of it and because I knew I wasn't walking very far and weight wasn't an issue, I brought them with me. Uh, in this little bag, what do I have? I can't remember. I've got, oh yeah, very important. Got my uh, poop shovel. Always need to bring one of those with you. Uh, and I've got a load of paracord as well for setting up tarps and stuff like that. Uh, next, very, very simple. As you might guess, I've bought a grill. Again, not something that I bring every time, but today, um, you know, I'm out and I want a steak. So I'm gonna cook that up on the grill. Uh, I've got a really simple sit pad. Um, very, very comfy, really, really cheap folds down nice and small, weighs nothing, so for an extra little bit of comfort, keep your, keep your bum off the wet ground, brilliant thing to have. Uh, and in here, so this is kind of like a, a little possibles pouch, so this is just a random sort of collection of things, like I brought some bin bags to put any rubbish in that I create, I've got a space blanket in case I get really cold and you know we're in an emergency kind of situation, I've got a tick remover, I've got hand sanitizer, I've got my toothbrush, you know I've got a uh, backup torch, um, bug spray, stuff like that, so always useful to have. Um, always necessary to carry this around um, just because it's got everything in it that I could possibly want and need. All right, last few bits from in the bag. I've got my TBS Billy Can, uh, lovely little pot uh, just to boil up water, cook food in, whatever you need. Um, I have a funny little portable lantern. Um, again, not a, not a particularly necessary item, particularly if you're concerned about weight, but because I knew I wasn't hiking in very far where I've come today, not a big problem. And it's nice to have, particularly in the evenings. Um, I've got a camping chair. Uh, this camping chair, again, it's just off the internet. It's nothing special uh, and does the job pretty well. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to use it where I am today because the ground is far too wet and it will sink and disappear. But again, not, not, not an essential item, but a luxury, you know, a nice to have if you're just gonna be relaxing and camping and not moving around a lot, not worried about weight. Uh, I have my faithful Baco Laplander folding saw. Um, brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. Um, can't go wrong with it. Uh, I do need a new blade when I'm starting to bend, but obviously really good, fold and saw, nice and easy, uh, simple to use, light to carry. 
Uh, and the other thing that I've got with me today is my Moranith um, little hatchet. So this hatchet, to be honest with you, is not great. Um, you know, you pay you pay money for what you get. It's very, very cheap and not particularly brilliant. Um, <coughs> my good axes are in storage at the moment, so, um, so this is the only one I've uh, brought with me. But, you know, for something like this, again, nice and simple, nothing overly complicated, not particularly um, sort of harsh conditions, it'll do the job just fine. Cool, so the only other bits that I've really got is my little first aid kit um, that I take with me whenever I go, just in case. Um, a head torch, uh, which I just got off the internet, it's not an expensive one, pretty cheap. And um, what else have I got? I have got my gloves. So, gloves attached to me. Uh, again, these are good. They are relatively heat proof, made of leather, nice and warm. Um, I've got my, see that's not been able to get back on. I've got my mini fire lighting pouch, uh, which again, just has a few little bits of uh, tinder and stuff in there and uh, ways to go get a spark going. Um, very cool. And the last thing that I've got on me is my knife. So this is my Castrum uh, number 10, I think. I'll need to check that. My Castrum number 10 um, bushcraft knife. Uh, other than that, the only other things that I've really got in the bag are some extra clothes. So I've got, you know, a spare pair of socks, spare pair of pants, uh, and some um, thermals to put on if it gets really cold. Uh, I've got a woolly hat, etc. Um, that's kind of about it. All right, guys, so there you have it. Really quick rundown of what I tend to take with me when I'm doing a uh, bushcraft overnighter. Um, you know, this stuff, not all of it is necessary by any means. Um, this is what I tend to take when I'm doing, you know, like a nice sort of relaxed, calm uh, bushcraft overnighter rather than in some kind of survival situation and, and stuff like that. So a lot of this stuff isn't necessary, but, you know, they're, they're nice to have just to make your, your time out a little bit more enjoyable, which is what it's all about, really. Um, so, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want kind of a more in-depth um, kind of gear video where I kind of actually show you how this stuff actually works in practice, uh, you know, then, then let me know. Put it in the comments um, and, I'll, and I'll get to it. But uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching uh, and I'll see you very soon.